All right, here's the deal. Let's just have a different approach. I will do this mission, where I think come. Let's keep Bodark. <clears throat> I'm torn between Hauser and Bodark, but let's keep Bodark. Alongside Seraphim, Hyde, and Endenberg. I've considered two explosive experts, but this might be what I need. Let's do this. It's a completely different camp. Completely different synergies. How do I go about doing this? I need to keep disrupting with Bodak as much as I possibly can. Hide. Let's sprint him in ghost mode. Position him somewhere around here so we can snipe the bomber. Oh. Then. Worst case scenario, bomber right here. And of course, Hindenburg will blow stuff up. Let's try this out. Down, behind cover, big explosive. I have a sneaking suspicion this guy might be coming from this side. Oh. 
If he's not, that's okay. Okay, he got blown up. This guy stood up. Got blown up as well. <sighs> I'm not going for this as quickly as I like but that was the price we paid and it turns out to be the price it's quite another disaster Get that, but this doesn't seem to be the way to go. Oh, no doc, let's get the other package. As far as Seraphim goes, probably should move on ahead. Sprinting, even. She'll not hide, hide behind that, I'm about to blow it up. She needs to move on ahead. I can't keep her here, this is completely pointless. There's no one there. She needs to take a completely different vantage point somewhere else. I'll try to take care of the shotgun with the bomber. Risky business. Is that a path I can open up? Seriously? A shortcut? Oh my goodness. Excellent! Let's just go through here. be lobbed over these buildings. All right, then. Let's sprint over here. Cancel sprint. Get on over here. Sprint back. Didn't 
get out. Might be the. Yeah, this area is already covered, mostly. But a sniper. If I hide. What I need to cover is this area here. Risky. is the most refined one but <sighs> something round five I need to complete this in 12 I'm running out of time I don't know what the shotgunner is doing, and at this point, frankly, I don't really care. No. Alright, cover the escape. Actually, just stay there for now. to get the figurines. I have six left. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Getting these two should be fairly straightforward. No! Maybe I do need a shotgun. They are a lot quicker. And Bulldog just isn't doing it for me. Not in this mission. As much as I adore him in general, he's just not helping as much. Not over here. I could actually assemble a team of shotgunners and just try and... Stay on the move? Is that a good idea? I think I want Hoser and I think I want Seraphim. I could take two bombers and just neglect gunmen completely.
This is an option. What a difficulty spike. The previous two missions were absurdly simple. But now, the missions I am facing currently has just such a pain. Always on the run. Right, first of all, I need to get over here and blow this up. Not good enough. How about now? Oh, that will blow him up! My goodness! Ridiculous! Let's try this out. That's um that's no. Oh my goodness. can get out of the blast traders in time. Amazing. this and get over the see how this works out how terribly oh he's not going to walk into that all right then your funeral buddy
What? He's outside of the blast radius? Preposterous! Weekend. That's not complete already. Not yet. blow each other up. Right then. How well, the enemies are fighting the explosives. Stop being smart, guys. He got up to get out, but it's failed. Oh, no, the explosive wasn't even there yet. Marvelous. Get out. She'll cover them, they will get through, try and acquire what we need to acquire. Okay Hudson, you paranoid bastard, maybe just maybe, you could lay a mine down here as well. In the mud. Expire. Thankfully, that's not a big deal anymore. I will move the sniper once I can. Not anytime soon. I can't leapfrog snipers because I only have a single one. My goodness, how dreadful. Kind of worried that I probably should put Hosel out of. Print. Stuff he needs to do that he cannot do while sprinting, namely killing people.
Ah, just blast him. The cover is providing a much needed advantage. Need to sprint my sniper. For now, we have no cover. Temporarily. What about Hindenburg? What is he doing? Not much, I see. He needs to, at the very least, wait a bit, stand up, and scout ahead the tiniest of bits. And by wait, I mean a long time. This might be the risky move that kills him. Let's see anyway. Hold on, that proximity mine might be the death of him. Let's not toss that one out. not do any of that. Instead, just wait here and then toss out another explosive. Skip the area saturated, saturated in explosions. Who do I need to worry about? When was he last seen and why? Oh, right. Somehow he survived that. Wow. Wait, what? Oh, it's the other one. Interesting. This one seems to have given up on life. Oh, he just might be sneaking up from behind, who knows? What about the enemy sniper? The sniper is not the. I can see that much. That's the worst case scenario sniper. probably not going to survive it. He may survive it, but just barely. Is that med dash worth it? I don't think it is. However, I am running out of time quickly. I still have six figurines to pick up. Soon enough, I might not be physical, physically able to do so.
No, this area does not need sniper cover. Sniper coverage. It's... This area desperately needs counter sniper. This part barely gets him enough cover to survive. And so does this one. Somehow he should be able to survive that. There are also two... Shotgunners. On the map. But they are over there, so they are not that big of a threat. I don't know where the sniper is, that's the only problem. As long as I can get over that hurdle, I'll be fine, I'll be out of the woods. Please don't die, Hoser. Sniper! No! No! Why was that guy out of cover? Just so close too. It's just ridiculous. get through gold rush properly that was pathetic thing is it was going surprisingly well to an extent and then I blew it by making a single bad judgment call
It was going very well. My mistake was placing that bomber outside of cover. Why? I don't need Hudson. I appreciate Hindenburg's help, since he can really blow stuff up, but Hudson has to go. I also need some way to detect things. Augustus might be quite helpful. I wouldn't discount Zeke's. Zeke's what? Zeke's possible contributions to the success of the... Let's just use his sensor, see what I can accomplish with that. Let's take Hosel and Zeke, Hindenburg and Seraphim. I'm tempted to take Ares, but the advantage of counter sniping. Too good to pass. I am no longer setting up mines, but this time I need to get it right. Theoretically, I have beaten the mission, but what's that worth? What is it worth, really? It's not beaten oh so perfectly. this guy. How do I take him out? How do I take my own man out? Rush here and toss out that explosive. What do I need the sensor for? Let's say that he goes here. And what? That's, that's not good enough. Cover advantage is enormous. Too good to pass up. And if we take cover advantage into account, the explosive is no longer needed. Just get behind cover, blast him. Bam, Shazam, done. No 
Meanwhile, in worst case scenario, Bomber land. Get out! Run! Yes. That guy's done. Can you run through it? And emerge unscathed on the other side? No, you cannot. Okay, let's just get out of the of the blast radius, thank you. And then run the world's where it used to be. This pathway, blow it wide open. Come on, you silly little shotgunner! Get out! Boom, get in, get out. I don't know about that guy. That guy, he's, he's dead to me. Well, let's make him dead to everyone else as well. plan so far. <sighs> Finally. I kinda knew that would happen, but I did it anyway. Put the bomber out of cover, lured him out. He did get acquired in the end, but that wasn't enough. Yes, it will force a trade, but I don't want trades. I need to take the enemy forces out without losing anyone. Expected that to happen, and you still get out a lot. Thankfully, yes.
Stand up, get out of the blast radius. Get through here. Alright, gunman. We will need to blow this path wide open soon. This is the plan. He gets one figure. No one gets killed. Surprisingly. Why do I want to go around? Can't I just wait for the explosion? Alright, I want it to be safe. Try this. Hold on sight. Deal with the guy, and once you deal with the guy, sprint. Excellent. He will be down very, very soon. Now, how about everything else? <laughs> Sounds like a promise. How about everything else? No. What about everything else? Shotgun will spawn though in the future. But that's distant future, next time, that doesn't concern me. I'll get here, get the figure in, get out. figurine get the hell out by the way this is Zeke he can toss out his sensor I probably could I probably could I probably should make use of that frequently Now let's not get sniped. Let's not get counter sniped. Uh, pff, counter sniped. That's the reason I have my sniper right here. He's protecting my team from getting sniped. Oh, he's not sprinting, huh? Will he? Will he get blown up if he sprints through here? Not quite. Although this is one risky maneuver. You might want to wait 0.7 seconds before attempting this. Let him lead the way. He's the sturdy guy. Still in the dark. I don't really care about this shotgun as much as I care about pretty much anything else really. 
Zeke. Zeke. Over here, little buddy. Well, toss out your sensor somewhere around here. Please don't die. I know where the sniper is. I know where the sniper is. Which means the sniper is doomed. I can't quite reach. There we go. And if I know that the sniper is there, then this area is probably safe, unless the gunman here decides to engage. In which case I'll blow him to smithereens. Can you sprint through here without getting killed, Seraphim? If you cannot, I can try... ...and make you count a snipe along the way. Oh, my sweet angel, let me try and help you. You will not get through. You'll cut off. This for now. See. So the sensor. Somewhere around the. You will die. You will die as well. Oh no! I need to get rid of the sniper to be able to proceed. The sniper is locking down this area. Please don't die, please don't die, people. Knew it, he was following Zeke. But I got him. Okay, no one there. Sniper. I think it could be further ahead. <sighs> Should have gotten up to get a glimpse at the situation. Here's the important part. <laughs> what is the important part? Hosel is over here. And he can take he can take care of this. Wait. We know that this area is clear. The sniper isn't there. Now, do we assume that the sniper got out through here? Is that at all plausible? It's possible, but is it plausible?
No, because the absolutely things he could see from the that he could not shoot at. Let me guess. Yeah, I'll need to delay the next explosive by quite a bit. Stand up and get back down immediately. the sensor. The sensor is telling me that this area is safe. <sighs> Could the sniper have gone through here and positioned himself? Safely here. Yeah. But worst case scenario, him outside of the blast radius, undetected by this. This area is relatively safe. This entire area, I know that much. I don't know the sense after you get the Zeke. I could move Seraphim to cover this angle, but this is a death trap! Alright, Zeke, be extremely careful, you're walking into a death trap. Eesh. I suppose this area up one more goddamn time. It'll take a while! But what else is he supposed to do? What is Skinderbuck supposed to do? Just stay pinned? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this plan. That blew up the sniper, excellent. Will he die? Considering the fact that I have quite a bit of time... Actually, <laughs> let's stay here with Hosel. It's turn 7, I still have 5 of these things to collect. But once I get rid of these guys... Pretty much home free. How much? I haven't seen in one point nine seconds. How far can you get in one point nine? Get 
be around here. Get up and get out. Let's say that he's the... he's got the look command. Actually, no look command, he's just... He's no longer sprinting. He wants to search and destroy. Obama needs to get behind cover, that's the only way he can survive. And then... Scout get popped? Seraphim. Yes, this guy will get will get popped, Billy. I have a bad feeling about this. What about the gunman? What about poor old Zeke? What if he gets targeted? What a terrible spot. I feel like I'm wasting time, but I want to play it safe. By trying to play it safe, I might just put, be putting myself in danger. Wait, what? How? What happened? Don't have much time. New guests will be arriving shortly. How long does you have to wait? Ah, uh, he doesn't have to wait all that long. Huh? Oh, 0 0.1 seconds and not enough. Actually. What? 
Okay, this has exploded at the end of the turn, isn't it? So it's gone by now. Apparently, yes. Yes, it is. The sniper can get this packet. If the sniper gets that packet, I might as well. I could regroup, try to keep them safe, but I'm running out of time. I have four rounds to gather all of this up. I want to die at the last second. This still feels like a decent idea to me. There are no new arrivals next turn, and the turn after that, we will just have to see. Surprises. <laughs> Hold on, he'll get the turn after that. There's no need for this much redundancy, but there we go. I have a bad feeling. Reinforcements may be incoming. Oh, the turn after the next one. I don't care. I will collect this anyway. Four reinforcements incoming. My goodness. That's for the next turn, right? So it doesn't matter. I don't have to blow anything up. If anything, I would, I would probably blow up my own men doing this. Yoink! Excellent! My goodness! Properly beaten. Let's see the replay. Here is my team. With Seraphim, the sniper, Hosel, the shotgunner, Zeke, the gunman, and Hennebel, the bomber. Huge explosions this guy has. The sensor, this guy is tough because he has an initial hit point. She is the marksman because when using the look command on her, she'll snipe people down faster than any other sniper I have. I move my sniper into position to counter snipe this guy. I ignore this threat for the moment, this single gunman. I am also worried about the shotgun and the bomb. And thus, I position the rest of my men to take care of it. Can't exactly remember how. Oh right, I move Hosel over here, behind cover, to take care of the shotgunner, whom I, whom I expected to come out. I position Hindenburg here, to toss out a huge explosive to, cover, to saturate this area, 
could potentially blow stuff up. Oh, no, 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 hold on. I toss out an explosive to take care of the shotgun. And the shotgun exclusively. The enemy bomber tosses out an explosive to take care of my bomber. Zeke just heads for the collectible, which he will very soon get. I get out of the blast radius, barely, and decide to kill the bomber with Zeke. I want to gun him down. Meanwhile, Hindenburg, my bomber, is tasked with blowing this wide open, because I want to get through here to the little statue. With that done, I order Zeke to gun the bomber down and to collect the tiny statue of Lady Liberty. Meanwhile, Hoser and Hindenburg make their way down to support Seraphim. I will get through here, even though this guy is behind cover. And as such, Seraphim cannot get to him quite yet. I toss an explosive, he gets up to try and get away, but will get popped. He would have gotten blown up otherwise. I collect the tiny little statue and get out. I know that this shotgun is probably on my toes. So I turn around with Zeke shortly afterwards. As soon as I get uh, as I'm done tossing out the sensor over here to keep the to keep tabs on this area. I turn around in the direction of the shotgun, gun him down. I move Hosel over here to once again pick up the tiny figurine. Which is probably the term I should have been using all the time. All of this time. And I toss out an explosive to take care of the sniper over here, whom I have spotted. Seraphim is still posed here because, as my preliminary attempts on the demonstration have shown, moving her through here would have put her at great danger of getting sniped herself. And even attempting a snipe midway wouldn't have turned out as well as one would expect because she would be on the move, she would have to stop and turn, the sniper would be ready. No dice. Zeke gets rid of the shotgunner and proceeds over here next to Seraphim. This area is a death zone. At least as long as I don't blow up the sniper over here. Which happens at the very beginning of the turn so I don't have that information to work with. I decide to blow this area up as well, blindly, because this guy is still crouched behind cover and cannot see all the way over there. The sensor isn't detecting anyone. I put Zeke over here to toss out another sensor to cover this area. I toss out an explosive blindly. And it gets rid of the remaining enemy forces. I, I toss out a sensor, which shows me absolutely nothing. I make... A plethora of moves, all, certain, uh, all centered around the idea of me potentially getting ambushed by a lucky shotgunner who got out of the blast radius on this side and was following Hindenburg. This, is, this did not occur at any point. After I find out that there are no enemy forces on the board anymore, I make a mad dash for the figurines to pick them up before any additional reinforcements spawn. Which is exactly um, which is exactly what happens no 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 before the new reinforcements spawn I managed to get all the figurines and beat the level done it's a decent run I'm glad everyone survived and I'm glad no one got injured because I do like my men and want to take care of them to the best of my abilities let's exit to the map and finally See the debriefing, because now I deserve it. From the Baron to Vestin, subject never would have guessed. <laughs> I'll be damned! Always were rumors that gold was hidden in those old swamps, but never would have thought someone would do it for real. Cowboy must be nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rock and chairs, using Hades as a hideout. You got his gold, so he's probably madder than a wet hen. Likely gonna do something stupid. But, if I'm reading you right, that's what you've been planning all along. Yes, yes, of course I have. <laughs> now he will make mistakes and I will capitalize on them. Quite certainly. Next mission is in Colonia, and I will get to that later. For now, I'm satisfied with the success I have had. Thanks for watching, and you will see me next time.